Well, joining us today here on Primetime Local News is Vancouver artist Rain, and she's coming off her new EP called False Love. Uh, Rain, first off, congratulations on the new EP. Take us through some of those creative stages of the direction and some of the songs for this album. First of all, thank you. Um, I just started writing, to be honest. Like, there's one song on the EP that was one of like the first songs that I'd ever like co-written with people, and I I really like like having that on there, just as kind of like to show like my progression as an artist. Um, that one's scar tissue, by the way. Um, I think creating the EP, I just wanted to like write and like when I first started, as I said, like I hadn't really done much co-writing before and I hadn't really been in like a proper studio before. Um, so I think like through writing it, I just wanted to like figure out who I was as an artist and just like create music and see what I could do and, you know, like learn everything that I possibly could. And so I think generally like the the whole the whole being of the EP is just about like growth for me. Um, a lot of the songs like are about fake relationships, I like to say. So that's why it's called false love because it's like not real in some sense. When you were in those stages in your career of finding your sound and how you wanted your songs to be produced, was there a turning point specifically for you that ultimately led to the way that your music is now? I don't really know. Like I first, when I first started writing the EP, I was very inspired by artists like Dua Lipa, and like Doja Cat and like doing this kind of like pop thing. And more recently with some of the more like recently written tracks, Is It Cool For Lonely and Nothing To Bleed For, I'm kind of veering into more of a dark pop kind of sound. And I really see myself going in that direction. Um, I think like, like I said, with the growth, right? Of just like figuring out what I want to sound like and the music that I want to create. And I definitely see myself continuing down that like dark pop direction, but it was just like getting there. That was the, uh, the exploration point for me, I guess. When COVID did hit, how much of your EP was fully completed? And what was something that you took away from all that downtime to learn about yourself personally? Unfortunately, several of these songs were done pre COVID. Um, Cause they're, it's been so long. Like I sat on music for a really long time just with my past manager, like wanted me to do that. So don't know why, but now we're getting to release stuff. Um, and COVID was hard, especially at the beginning, um, because like there's no performances. I like before COVID happened, I was starting to like get performances as rain. Before that, I'd always performed like acoustically by myself and like bars and restaurants and stuff. And I was finally getting to like perform my own music with my band and then everything was shut down. And so I never really got to continue doing that or explore that. Um, so I'm going to have to like relearn how to perform, I guess. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I think mainly like performance was a really hard thing with COVID and like making money performing and also like writing is very different now. In some ways, I think it's better because like before COVID, if someone was in London and you were in Vancouver, you just wouldn't write together. You'd be like, well, maybe one day I'll go to London and we can write together. But now I think it's become a lot more accessible to like write over Zoom. And so everyone does it. And now people are a lot more okay like writing with people all around the world and not needing to be in person, which I really like. With those partners you had co-writing with this album, I know you mentioned that you write a lot of your own music like many independent artists do. Was that a bit of an adjustment period for you having people to co-write with because you're so used to doing everything on your own? There was because for so long, I would just write songs and I'd give up halfway through because I'm very much like, if I can't figure something out right away, I'm like, ugh, whatever. I can't focus on things for very long. And that's just like who I am. And so I really like with co-writing is there's accountability that you have to finish a song and you have a certain amount of time to do it. Um, but I think there was kind of like a learning period of like, oh, what if this is a bad idea? Because like, you're just like kind of, you're just kind of sharing ideas like in an open space. You guys are all just like throwing out concepts and lyrics and sometimes they suck and that's just life. But it's, it was very nerve wracking when I first started of like, oh, what if they don't like it? Oh no, what if this is a bad idea? Whereas now I'm a lot more okay just like saying things and then being like, that was stupid, Never mind. <laughs> now, if people wanna check out more of your music and see what else you have to offer, where can people go to do so? We got Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon, pretty much every platform. I think my music is up on, so just search for Rain. You'll find me eventually. <laughs> YouTube, I'm on there as well. You can check me out on all my socials, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, I'm at rainmusic underscore. 
Rain, I really appreciate your time. Thank you very much for joining us. Her new EP, False Love, is out now on all major music platforms. Rain, thanks again and congratulations on the EP.